What's up everyone? Online prep coach Ask here with prepcoach.com remaking some of the videos that caused my last YouTube channel to get taken down. So we'll have a couple coming out. This one is more focused on the cancer side of things. So doesn't really matter what type of cancer you have. It's obviously highly specific if there is a an actual brain-based neoblastoma, different stages, if there's breast cancer, if there's prostate cancer, it does really matter. But this is the introduction video so we can actually make more content on the whole cancer community and slowly see, okay, from the basics, where do we go from there? Because it starts very basic and broad and then that pyramid goes up and gets more and more specific. So this is gonna be a very broad introduction, part one of this entire cancer seminar series that I'm gonna start. And I'm going to do this seminar series with a lot of different things. So if we look at basic cancerous tissues and cells, what is causing them to proliferate? Could be environmental toxins, could be different lifestyle habits, could be just an epigenetic problem, could be thousands of reasons, could be the vibrational frequency side of things, like the list goes on and on. But if we look at the basics of how these cells thrive, what do they really thrive on? Glucose? and glutamine. So right off the bat, and this is the vast majority of cancer individuals, depending on what stage they are in type, most cancer patients should approach this from the metabolic side of things first and look at abolishing glucose, make sure we don't have gluconeogenesis, and pulling down on glutamine. So what does this look like in actual application? The first one, super basic, is we're looking at an actual, I'll put it right here, an actual ketogenic-based diet. So for a cancer keto-based diet, we're looking at having literally as few trace carbohydrates as possible, pretty high on the fats and pretty low on the proteins. We need just enough protein and nitrogen to rebuild and refortify broken structures and cells and receptors and things like that, but not so much that we'll go through that gluconeogenesis process to convert nitrogen into glucose. So an actual real keto-based diet with a lot higher fats, we really want those fats pretty high, we want pretty low actual proteins. Now we have one, okay? So we are now starving the body of glucose. We also have to handle the glutamine side of things. This is where an actual glutamine blocker is gonna come in. So we have to actual handle, we have to handle that glutamine cascade. This is something you're gonna have to go to your practitioner and doctor with, because there are some over-the-counter ones but some of the better ones will be prescribed by them. One of the big ones right now is actual Dawn. So there's a research study out there. It says we're not done with this and a really good paper, go read it. But from a glutamine side of things, we are managing it by blocking those actual active receptor sites. So we are managing glucose, we're managing glutamine. What else is gonna happen? Cancer cells cause a heck of a lot of damage. So all of our cells have these membranes. Those membranes, if we can imagine the membranes just like this, okay? So to get in here, they need good signals and good things coming in to actually do the healing. But what can happen is this cellular membrane can get damaged. It's going to block that whole process going in. That when it gets blocked, when that membrane gets damaged, we also have these pore players, these endotoxins, these different things inside the cell that now won't be able to get out because there's that, that membrane dysfunction going on here. So what we want to do is take something to fortify the actual membrane. If you look at that membrane and what it's made up of, we have an actual, we'll say bioidentical matching supplement in the form of NT factor. So it's super cool. It's an actual phospho Gly uh, glycolipid, which means it's literally the exact same makeup of what your membrane is made up of. So we're taking this in now to fortify that membrane structure so good stuff can come in, bad stuff can go out. Not just actual toxins and things like that, because that's kind of a catch-all word, but also basic signals. It's extremely important to make sure we're covering the actual membrane side of things. And again, that product is NT Factor. Awesome product. So we're covering glucose, we're covering glutamine, we're covering the actual cellular membranes. What else are we gonna go down? Well, if we were trying to fortify our body to bolster its own immune response to fight off and kill off these cancer cells themselves, we're going to need to bring in some kind of an immune therapy. And this is where it can be massive and vast. But we need to look at driving our own 
immune system as a whole. So this is where you need to go through your practitioner. There's a lot of good HRT, longevity clinics, peptide clinics, a lot of great physicians and doctors out there that are going this new alternative way of medicine, medicine 3.0, and bringing different peptide therapies to help actually bolster your own immune system. So if you go through your doctor, you can go ahead and go through the process of getting something like actual glutathione therapy. So remember, glutathione is the thing that's managing a lot of oxidation. Basically, if we look at basic cellular health, it's all based on the ratios of oxidized to reduce glutathione. So if we look at glutathione as a whole, okay, we have GSH. That's its reduced form. That means we can use that. After we use it, it actually binds with another one. And so now we have these bound molecules and that's actually called GSSG. So we want to take something to actually break that sulfide bond to now have more usable glutathione. So with your glutathione therapy, it could be a taurine addition. It could be a ton of different things out there, but something to get the most out of our exogenous glutathione therapy. So you're going through your doctor, going through a medical practitioner. They're cool with you having IV glutathione therapy once a week, once every two weeks. If you do have chemotherapy or radiation, you do have to play this off each other because you cannot take immune therapy based drugs while going through chemo. Meaning if it's done on the same day fashion, it can actually abolish all the positive effects that chemo was trying to do. So chemo destroys everything. If we take too many antioxidants, if we bolster our immune system at the wrong time in this cancer-based world, you basically null and void and you just get the negatives. And it just killed off, doesn't kill off the cancer cells. So we have some problems there with timing, but that's for a future video. So we go through our practitioner, we have our glutathione therapy, then we go into the different thymic peptides. And this is where, again, you'll have to go through your actual provider, but the thymogen alpha ones, the thymosin alpha ones, the thymolin, there's tons of cool products out there, but we're going down that cascade. Then you can go a step further. And if you are going through the IV route through your clinic, add some actual vitamin C. And this is going to be an actual higher dose potentiating product to potentiate your actual glutathione therapy. Now, since this is the basics, I think we kind of have to also talk about therapies and modalities, right? Um, this depends on access. So we have so many different therapies that can be a massive benefit. So the first one we're gonna look at is the actual, and then uh, we'll go, yeah, we'll stop there. So the first one is hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy. That hyperoxygenation will essentially fortify all of the good cells to work better and will slowly starve off and drive apoptosis of those cancer cells. So this causes cancer cell death and induces our own cellular functions to increase and upregulate. We then have plasmapheresis, which is pulling out albumin, replacing it with new albumin and pulling out the inflammatory factors that are kind of the spin-off products of your cancerous tissue growth. So ideally, we would be doing both of these therapies. You're not doing this every day, but you're doing this over the course of weeks and months, depending on what stage you are and what kind of cancer you have. And again, that's gonna be for a future video. But I think as a basic introduction to helping people to start you know, taking control of your health and starting to reverse your own cancers, go to your doctor, either show them this video or tell them about all this information. A lot of doctors are very receptive. They only want to help. They only have your best intentions at heart. And a good doctor will most likely go ahead and say, okay, we can go the keto route. We can go, we can block some glutamine. We can go ahead, we can handle membranes. We can improve immune functioning. And then let's try and find some local therapies as well. And they'll have other suggestions also. But I think this is a good starting point to start off and start revamping this whole cancer reversal series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out thepepcoach.com. See you guys next time.